Money is such a taboo subject. No one talks about it, yet we all need it. In this video, I'm going to show you my GitHub sponsors dashboard so you can see how much I make directly from open source. Before we get into those details, let me tell you a bit about myself. If you're new to my channel, I'm a self-taught full stack developer with over 15 years experience. I'm a GitHub star and I was selected as GitHub star of the year in 2020. That's one out of 55 million people on GitHub. My goal is to help you accelerate your skills and grow your network so that you can get the jobs, clients and money that you deserve. If that sounds interesting to you, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe below and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post a video or go live. Bonus tip, I have a second YouTube channel with one minute or less video tips. Check out the link in the description below. Right, enough about me, back to making money directly from open source. GitHub Sponsors is where people can donate money to you monthly or as a one-off. GitHub takes no cut, so you get 100% of what people want to give to you, which is freaking amazing. Thank you so much, GitHub. It is currently in 36 countries and increasing all the time. So sign up to join the waiting list if it's not available in your country yet. Let GitHub know that you're interested in it. I know what you're thinking, why would anyone want to sponsor, you know, me? I'm just me. Well, if you're providing value to someone, their project, their community, and it could be anything, fixing a bug to improving documentation, adding a new feature. It could be so many things, even translating. They might want to throw some money your way. And remember, something that could be easy for you could be really difficult for somebody else. So don't devalue yourself and don't prevent someone giving you money. It might just be $1 per month to say thank you, but eventually if you get 100 people doing that, that's $100 per month. You see where I'm going with this. You can see behind me GitHub's website on GitHub Sponsors. They're improving this all the time. They're adding more features. Now you can make one-off payments. You're in 36 countries rather than 32 than last time I checked. There are so many things you can do. You can increase the amount. Before it was limited to $500 per month. Now you can go up to $12,000. It is crazy. I mean, have a look at this. Do you see your country behind me? If you don't, still apply because they can see the interest from your country and hopefully prioritize that higher. I'm sure you've seen this before. This is my GitHub profile page. I've got it customized. I hope you have too. Let's have a quick look at my green squares. Not doing too badly, but Eddie, you can probably do a bit better. Let me click on my sponsors dashboard and I can show you behind the scenes, actual numbers, actual tiers, and how you can configure yours too. So from here, no secrets, everything's open and transparent. You can see I've got 12 sponsors and I'm making almost $100 per month. My sponsors do go up and down. I have had as high as I think 15 or 16 and they do vary and that's completely fine. There is no pressure for people to sponsor me and there's no pressure on how much. I really value everyone's sponsorship. So now after looking at the overview, you can see that I can customize my profile. This is probably a bit out of date. I probably need to update my short bio, definitely my introduction and my featured work. I won't do this on the video with you now because it's probably a bit boring for you, but I will do this after this video. So do check out my sponsors page and make sure I have. But if you notice any mistakes or any improvements, let me know in the comments below. Another thing you can do is goals. This is quite interesting. You can see I've set a goal of 15 sponsors. This will appear on my sponsors page, which I'll show you in a second. And this gives people kind of the motivation to help you get one step closer to your goal. So don't put something like 100 sponsors because if people see that you're so far away from it, they'll think their contribution won't make a difference. Previously, I had 10 sponsors goal and I reached that in December and that was awesome. If we head over to the sponsors tiers page, this is where you set up the tiers. So now you've got a tab which is monthly and you've also got a tab which is one timers tier. You can have a maximum of 10 tiers in each section. So it's 10 tiers in monthly and 10 tiers in one time. I suggest not having too many tiers because sometimes it's a bit overwhelming for people to make a decision. So I've got tiers varying from $1 to $25. I might add a higher one later on for companies if they wish to sponsor. Most of my sponsors, if not all of my sponsors, are community members. I haven't got any company sponsors yet, but I'm working on it. Together, we can make that happen. With my sponsors, I like to do a weekly call so we can catch up, have that one hour on Saturday afternoon. Well, afternoon for me, they're all over the world, some in the US, some in India, some in Asia. So it's kind of all over the world. But Saturday afternoon for me, every week we get together, we talk about some of the projects we're working on, some of the chances we have, and we have a really good geek out session. And actually they help me so much more than I help them, I feel. They're always giving me great feedback, advice, and tips. And therefore the following week, we make improvements to our live streams, radio eddy, videos, and it's so awesome. So thank you sponsors so much again for sponsoring me and for giving me such awesome feedback. The ideas of the tiers is 
is to give people different rewards for different amounts. But do remember, if you promise something in a tier, make sure you deliver. I have sponsored people on other platforms like Patreon, where I've sponsored them $50 a month, and I didn't get what they had promised in their tier. And after five months, I stopped sponsoring them and I have a bit of kind of a bad taste in my mouth with that content creator. So all I suggest and I highly recommend is if you offer something, do deliver on what you offer. And if you decide you no longer want to offer it, then you could remove that tier and remove that offer. But while people are paying for that tier, you should definitely offer it and don't update it without them knowing. Create another tier with the same amount or slightly different and have different benefits. So what are you waiting for? Have you signed up for GitHub sponsors yet? If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Any ideas and suggestions, definitely leave them in the comment below and I will answer them. So let's conclude. Sign up to GitHub sponsors, add value to the community and open source projects. Then let's see what happens. Remember, it is a marathon, not a sprint. And also remember, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel below and check out my second channel that has YouTube shorts. There's one minute or less vertical videos with loads of tips. And I look forward to chatting to you in our Discord between live streams and videos, link in the description below. Let's go geek out there.